Alafia, Hotep, Kamusta, Ola, Aloha, Hala. Welcome to the Mind of Row page. I am Ifa Titi Layo, Oba Jaguna. So today I'm going to make a video on what it means to be woke versus what it means to be conscious. So woke versus conscious. A lot of people think that might be the same thing. Well, absolutely it's not. So today I'm going to tell you what the difference is, the ups and downs to each one. So in my last video I made, I was working on some meditation videos. I did a couple of them. One was on Haru, or in other words, Horus. And then the most recent one was on Aset. There are some meditation techniques on how to invoke those energies within ourselves. So um, Haru, I'm just going to break it down real quick so if you're wondering what that means. Basically, when you invoke the energy of Haru, it helps you with willpower. And when you invoke the energy of Aset, it helps you with some healing aspects and stuff like that. So if you like those kind of videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Mind of Ro. And I also have a TikTok, an Instagram, a Twitter, at Mind of Ro. And I also have a Facebook business page. That is not this page. It's another page at The Mind of Ro. And a Snapchat at Little Row 253 So, in a nutshell, the difference between woke and conscious is woke basically means that you are aware of what's happening outside of you. And conscious basically means you are aware of what's going on inside of you. So because I'm about to get into some subjects that might bother people and ruffle some people's feathers up, I don't like to be trolled and I don't like negative energy and haters being thrown at me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick um, prayer really quick to protect my video. If you're into that kind of stuff, you could go ahead and get a paper and pen and write down what I'm about to say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke some energies to help protect me, protect my page, protect my videos, protect my energy because a lot of people like to throw funky energies at people's videos and I don't want it on me, so I'll return to sender. So let me go do that really quick. I'm going to move the video and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about the difference between woke and conscious. So Rava Povo da Ra Povo da Quimbanda, Pampa Jira Eshu and Tata and Rosa Caviera, Ronha da Kalunga, Sete Pedras, Omolu, Ibashe Ari, Eshu Odara, Ibashe Eshu Oro, Ibashe Eshu Opin, Ibashe Eshu Gogo, Ibashe Eshu Wara, Eshu Elakun, Papa Legba, Ibashe Shango, Oshun, Yemaya Ogun, Ochosi, Oya, Orumula. O Batala, Dua Tep, Twam Sunef and Neath, Dua Hapi and Neptep, Dua Kwam Sunef and Serket, Dua Amseti and Aset, Dua Sobek and Anpu, Dua Nut, Geb, Heteru, Herak Huti, Sekmet, Maat, Pata, Tehuti, Ra Asar, Merit Seger, Sekebet, Wachet, and may my ancestors and Ajaguna, who I am crowned with, protect me and this video from any negative forces. May any disagreeable spirits, haters, jealousy, enemies, blockages return to sender, return to sender, return to sender. Cool water. Cool house. Cool road. Cool voice. Cool head. Cool listeners. Cool watchers. Cool fans. May I only have cool subscribers, cool Eshu, cool Sobek, cool ancestors, negate death, negate sickness, negate legal problems, negate loss, negate obstacles, negate overwhelming conditions, people, and conversations, negate jealousy, negate misunderstandings. Eshu, don't confuse me, only confuse my enemies. Ashe, 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 yo, to. All right, let's move on really quick. So what is the difference between being woke and being conscious? So woke basically means to be aware of the issues that concern social justice and racial justice. So conscious basically means to be aware of unique thoughts, memories, feelings, sensations, and environments. So how do you know you're neither? Basically, you believe everything that's told to you. You believe that you're, everything that whatever your parents taught you is right. You believe everything the news tells you is right. You believe everything your educational system when you went to high school, junior high, college, every single thing is accurate. You believe all the history you learned is accurate. And you also believe that acting very ignorant and sloppy and crazy and mean is cool. 
this means you're neither. But if you're watching this video, that means you're a follower of mine who likes my type of stuff. So I'm going to suppose a good majority, majority of you who are watching this video are either woke or conscious or both. So let's start out with what it really means to being woke. There is multiple steps to being woke. So the first step to being woke basically means you question everything. It means you question everything that is happening around you. That includes the government, your peers, family, school, religion, television, all that stuff. So that's how you know that you have begun your journey of being woke because you start to question everything that's happening around you. Number two or step two to being woke is doing your homework. You know you're woke if you have been doing your homework as in when you question something, you decide, well, I'm going to think for myself, so I'm going to research it. You like to read books, you like to go online and research things, you like to look into it, and every single time something is told to you, you decide you're going to look into it to find out if it is truth or false. Step three to being woke is realizing everything is basically an illusion that has been embedded into your mind since you were a child, and now you're pissed off about it. Yes, it is completely normal to be woke, and then when you find out everything has been illusion, everything that you have been doing, everything that you have been watching, everything you have devoured your life to has been an illusion, and now you're pissed off, and now you're angry. That is typical in people who are woke. The next step is... The next step I like to call what it means to be super woke. <laughs> so what it means to be super woke basically means you see the illusion behind the illusion. What that means is what I like to call the illusion of duality. I have a show on my YouTube that I call Hookah Time with Mind of Row. And my saying I always say on it is called the illusion of duality or helping people get away from the illusion of duality. Basically what that means is to be super woke and aware of the illusion of duality. I'm going to set you an example really quick. So let's just say you decide you don't like this pen. And you have very valid reasons on why you don't like this pen. So you decide to share this information and then you find out everybody else is sharing the exact same information. And then the government finds out that you're sharing the exact same information, right? And then the government's like, oh shit, they found out that uh, we, we, we put out a really janky pen, for example. So now everyone's talking about how much they don't like the pen. So the TV and the media decides, well, we're going to get on it too. And we're going to tell you how much we don't like the pen so we could do something else as in put out this book over here that you don't like either but you're not going to be able to pay attention to the known book why because you're too busy focusing on the pen so this is called the illusion of duality so that brings us back to the first step and what makes you really woke is being aware that it's time to question your reality as in the media so this makes you super woke is when you not only realize the media is not telling you the truth but fads of hating one thing or being focused on one thing let us hate this person let us hate this subject or let the government and media basically um, sidetrack you on what they're really doing because they realize you are on something and they're going to use it as a ploy to have you pay attention to this so you're not paying attention attention to this to basically pour that illusion onto your head that you won when actuality if it's popular on the media and if you're woke, you know anything that's popular on the media is a lie because you're woke and all woke people know that. So moving on, that's just a basic description of what that is. Uh, the next step to being woke is activism. So being woke means you're actually actively acting on whatever it is that you found out that you don't like and you feel like there needs to be change. So you could talk the talk, but if you ain't walking the walk, you ain't really woke. So those of you who are out there making moves, making posts, and trying to wake everybody else up, joining um, activist groups, um, making shirts with conscious uh, um, quotes, I see a lot of people doing that, or um, starting nonprofit organizations or getting involved with other nonprofit organizations and making it a life path to be able to share that information or every single time, even if you're not going to that extreme, everyone's purpose isn't to do that. But if you are aware of these things, you should be sharing it with other people and you should be living by it. Because if you're not living by it and if you know things are happening and then you're going against what you already know, it kind of makes you a hypocrite and that means you ain't woke. So... 
since we're talking about activism, here's another, here's another idea we need to think about. So everybody wants to be woke these days, and everybody calls herself an activist these days. So my next question is this. Are you really an activist, or have you just been activated by the media? Which leads us back to the same subject I was just talking about earlier, is if you're woke, you know the media is full of crap, and they're not telling you the truth about anything. So... Next one, moving on, five steps to what it means to be conscious. So I like to say this quote because I'm comedic myself. I practice a little comedicism myself. So I'm going to start out with describing what it means to be conscious with this quote. Know thyself and you shall know the gods. So that leads to our step number one, what it means to be conscious. It basically means that... One, you are aware of your ancestors and you were aware of the behavior of your ancestors that lived through you. And you were also aware that you have free will to be able to act in a way that belongs to you and your soul and your identity as well. What this basically means is you are aware of yourself and you're aware that you are more than just a flesh and you are a non-physical being as well. That's the number one step to being a conscious person is understanding that everything is energy, therefore you are energy as well, and that you have the free will to follow your higher purpose and nothing and anything can control it without your permission, basically what that means. It also means that nothing physical um, identifies you, which, which means your job doesn't identify you, your race doesn't identify you, your parents don't identify you. And where you live, as in this planet or as in the country or the state you live in, doesn't, doesn't um, um, identify you either because you identify you. So this is the first step to realizing that you are conscious, is that we identify ourselves. No matter who, even if, and, and we're also aware of sometimes we have bad habits that we pick up from our ancestors. And this, this is a step number one to being conscious. Step number two is called emotional intelligence. This means that we are aware of our emotions and how we emotionally react to people and others. It basically means that people who are emotionally intelligent aren't going to have a bad day at work and then come home and take it on their spouse. People who are emotionally intelligent aren't going to be stressed out from taxes and then go to the 7-Eleven and then flip out because the guy at the register gave, gave you the wrong Gum, for example, because being conscious means we are emotionally intelligent. Um, step number three is that we're mindful of our own thoughts, which means when you become conscious, it means we become consciously aware that we have all the power to control our thoughts instead of our thoughts controlling us. The next step is we are accountable for our actions. So when we become conscious people, it means that we are accountable for everything that we do. We do not blame our parents. We do not blame our children. We do not blame our past. We take 100% accountability for the way we act in our current life and in our current body or moment or, or whatever it is that we're not blaming other people outside of us because everything comes from within. So the next step is living a healthy lifestyle. That is one of the major steps to being conscious is we are not conscious if we're not making it a goal to live a healthy lifestyle. Of course, we cannot be perfect, but if we're conscious, we should be trying to aim, trying to, aim to be very healthy people, eat healthy, work out, live healthy, have healthy relationships, stuff like that, you know, be clean, you know, stuff like that. That means living a healthy life, working a job that we love and that we don't hate, stuff like that. You, you know what I mean? You know, respecting the planet, stuff like that. This is called a healthy lifestyle, trying to be positive and not be negative and pessimist all the time. This is called living a healthy lifestyle. So this is basically what it means to be conscious. So these are the next steps that just might bother some of you watchers when you're watching this. I'm going to describe to you three signs you may be woke, but you're not conscious. So number one is you know the history of the ancient ones or as in the history of mankind, but you have no idea what they're talking about. So this is what it means to be woke and not conscious. So 
a lot of woke people know that, okay, so the man came and they conquered lands and they stole things and they did this and they hid the history and they made religions into another religion and turned into theirs and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to get into all that history if you don't understand what I'm saying. Go do your homework. But... In a nutshell, what basically what I'm saying is a lot of people who claim to be woke know these histories, but have no idea why this is happening. It's not just because people were jerks. It's not just because they were just biased against skin color. It's much more than that. Yes, of course, it's about power, but they're hiding very enlightened, enlightened wisdom for a purpose. So the wisdom that they're hiding is the wisdom that we need to return to so they cannot control us anymore. And as long as we do not have that wisdom and we are not living by that wisdom, they have the power to control us. Therefore, you know you're awoke and not conscious if you know the history of, of them taking over the ancient ones but have no idea what they're hiding or why they would do that in the first place. So my answer to fixing that problem is do your homework because if you are woke, then you would know that if they're trying to hide something, it's your job to try to um, pull out that knowledge that they're hiding and share it with the world so we could be one again, so we could be so we could be conscious, so we, so we could be together because an enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that's going to go into the next subject is basically... You are aware of your problems. You are aware of the problems in the world, but you're not aware of the problems within your own personal life. This means you're awoke, but you're not conscious. So we could be aware that there's all this crap going on with the government and crap going on in the news and, and, and history, history of our ancestors and all that stuff, but we have no idea on why we can't hold a job, why we can't have a healthy relationship, why we're always angry all the time, why we're always depressed all the time, why we can't act right, why we can't stop drinking, all this this kind of stuff we're not aware of it and we don't want to be aware of it but we want to be aware of everything else that means we're woke but we're not conscious so the best way to solve that problem is if you want to claim to be woke we need to admit to ourselves that the reason why these things happen to us is because especially men and melanated people is because we have been colonized and it causes and what they did was they purposely embedded false ideas into our head to make us be self-sabotaging which is not not having healthy relationships, not eating healthy, not living healthy, not taking care of ourselves, not being happy, not being successful, not bringing money, blah, 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 stuff like that. They want us to be like that. They want us to have drinking problems. They want us to be poor. They want us to be broke. They want us for our families to break up. So if we're woke, we need to not be hypocrites and act on it as in if we're woke and conscious about what's going on with with our colonizers, we need to be woke and conscious about what they have done to our minds to keep us separated and to keep us down and make it a goal within our life to rise above it. The next one is you know things but don't live by it. How do you know you're woke and not conscious? This means you know things. I'm going to repeat. You know things, but you don't live by it. A great example is this. We like to complain about the suppressors and complain about being divided. But yet, we tend to force our beliefs when we grow conscious onto others, get angry if people do not want to subside because this this is called this is called kind of called spiritual um narcissism or woke narcissism is when we feel entitled. We know some things. Now we feel entitled. Everyone must bow to us. Everyone must look up to where we have this weird God like complex and stuff like that. We turn into these into these narcissistic like bossy people to think, oh everybody has to listen to me and if nobody listens and if they don't listen to me then they're less than me and, and all that kind of stuff. And this is another habit um, these are actually a lot of habits that we have picked up from our colonizers that we need to shed and get off of us because it's not serving us and it's keeping all melanated people separate. Basically, what that what that means is number one thing that that this does is um, this is causing self hate, and when we have self hate, what it does is make us reflect and make us prejudge those who remind us of ourselves, who may look like us, who may lack, act like us, act like us, or act like our parents, or look like our parents, and whatnot. So we, so we reflect on them and start arguing with people and, uh, and judging them based, and even based off their color. So what does it sound like when someone judges somebody based off the color of their skin, or, bases that, or, or judges them off of what they believe? 
Um, that sounds kind of familiar. I'm sure, I'm sure you know where that came from. So one of my videos I want to make here in a few weeks is basically um, describing really bad habits that we picked up from our colonizers. We've got to be mindful of that stuff. So moving on. Three signs you're conscious and not woke. Number one, you love playing with magic. You love to meditate and you love to do yoga and all this stuff. But yet you deny where it came from. I see this a lot in the conscious group. A lot of people want to play with magic. Let's say, for example, Wicca, do spells and stuff like that. But a lot of these same people want to deny the fact that these magical um, practices came from Africa. Or deny the fact that... Um, it's basically a washed out African practices. And a lot of these people who do this and deny that I came from Africa like to demonize or make African practices seem evil. Oh, what they're doing is evil and demonic and blah, blah, blah. Like, what do you, where do you think Wicca came from? Where do you think magic came from? It all came from Africa. So if you're conscious and not woke, it means you like to play with magic, but you deny where the magic information and knowledge of practices came from. Number two, you claim that you want peace, but you deny race, racial injustice. We live in a planet where majority of our history is based off racism. Majority of this planet is suppressed based off racism. If you claim to say that you want to fight for peace, you can't be hypocritical and deny the fact that there's racism. And this is something that I realize a lot with the conscious group is they claim they want to have peace and they claim to be all peaceful and everything is light and blah, blah, blah. But as soon as somebody mentions something about, oh, there's racial injustice going on, they want to turn the other cheek and act like it doesn't exist, which goes to my third step. Number three is avoiding problems and behaving in denial because you want to claim that you want to think positive positively so the last step is number three let me repeat that real quick if you're conscious but not woke basically that means this is a pretty popular one as as well a more common one is you're avoiding problems and acting in denial because you claim that you want to be peaceful or you claim that you want to be positive so we got to be real with ourselves. if somebody's next door and somebody's being i know this is pretty um pretty extreme if somebody's being murdered next door or you're or having a heart attack or whatever or let's say you 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 lost your you lost your job and you ain't got a car or, or all kinds of negative stuff happening i i understand the concept of thinking positive but we got to act on our life. We got to make moves. We got to actively do things about our life. We got to um, really admit that there are just some things that happen within our life and that happens in other people's lives and that happens across the globe that's really not positive. I'm not saying that it's okay for you to be negative and be a pessimist. What I'm saying is we got to be real with ourselves. We have an issue in our life. We got to face it. We got to admit, hey, this isn't good for me. This isn't good for my life or this isn't good for my friend or this isn't good for my family. Therefore, I need to speak on it, not just, oh, I'm just going to think positive. This is not reality. This it's not. It doesn't serve. That's called being in denial. So if you're going to claim to be conscious, being conscious doesn't mean denying when something negative or unserving happens to us. Being conscious means that we are consciously aware that it is happening, and we are consciously aware of the moves that we need to make in our life to make that moment or make whatever is happening in our life shift into a more positive experience not just denying it and act like it's not happening it's not serving us being positive because you have a negative partner all the time is not going to fix your problem not being with a negative partner is going to fix the problem so my experience i've been through all these phases i mean none of us are perfect i'm not perfect right now i have my angry moments of course if you've been following me you see me have my anger moments and, and stuff like that i mean years ago i was i was venting about you know um christianity and called colonialism and racism and all that all that we all go through our levels we all go through our levels of being of waking up asking questions being aware going through anger going going trying to be conscious and then slipping back down again and then crap happens and then trying to redo it and be conscious again we all go through that there's absolutely nothing 
wrong with that. We're not perfect. One thing we got to stop doing is trying to be for perfect. I'm not making this video because I expect people to be perfect. I'm not making this video because I think I'm perfect. I'm making this video to help people be aware of where we stand and where we're at so we could admit to ourselves that we have a lot more grow growing to do because if we didn't, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be humans living on this planet in the first place. I've been through this crap myself. I'm definitely ain't perfect. Um, but one thing that I did realize is the experience of, of growth in consciousness is understanding that we never get to a place of perfection. Therefore, we're always focused on, well, I'll be happy and I'll be secure and I'll be cool once I get to this level. It, it doesn't exist. We're always growing. We're, we're always growing conscious. We're always growing more woke every single day of our life. The only times we really slip up in life, this is the number one thing is when we really slip up is when we get to the point where we're like, well, I don't give a crap. I'm just going to stop it. So I'm just going to give up or when we get to that point to where we just don't care and we stay at a level or we get to a level and we think we're we know everything or we think we're better than everybody or we think we're perfect and everybody else is under us. That's when we make those mistakes. We make those mistakes when we think we're ever going to get to a place that we never have to grow anymore. We make that mistake when we think when we think we are perfect and we think there's nothing more left to learn. Therefore, no one could ever teach us and we're not teachable. Those are the those those are the main mistakes that we make. And one of the things that actually helped me that helps a lot of people when I tell them this too, to help to help us understand this and understand our own levels and to not be disturbed by other people's levels, because trust me, I've been there as well, is we start to grow and realize there's a lot of crap going on in this world and it sucks. And then we realize a lot of crap happened to us and then that sucks. You know, we get really angry and stuff. But one thing that I tell myself that I try to tell other people in my chakra balancing group is we have to learn how to respect not only ourselves, but everybody else at their conscious level. And I know it's really hard. It's hard for me to as well. But when we remember that everybody is at their own level, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We got to, you know, we got to give ourselves a break. It's okay to be at the level that we're at. It's, it's okay to believe one thing this year and then next year learn something else. It's part of the process. It's, it's part of growth. And we got to accept ourselves for that and stop giving ourselves such a hard time. But we also got to learn how to accept other people on their level as well. Not in a way that we're in denial and we're just allowing toxic ass people to be in our life. I mean, that's that's that goes back to the step of being conscious and not woke. Or being conscious, you're trying to say you're conscious, but you're not really. Because we, I mean, we, we don't have to accept, you know, um, negative things or toxic stuff in our life. And I have to be okay with it. We don't deny it. But we definitely do um, need to need to admit that everyone's at their own conscious level. And that we're at our own conscious level. And whatever level that we're at right now is okay. And there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Because that comes with self-love. That comes with accepting ourselves and loving ourselves. And when we start to really accept ourselves and love ourselves. We allow ourselves to grow and we also start to respect and love other people and allow them to grow as well without trying to stop them or without trying to stop ourselves and stuff. So that's the only thing I could think of. Oh, and also seek balance as well. Um, a lot of times why a lot of people are woke and not conscious is because they're only thinking with one side of their brain. So a lot of woke people tend to think with their left side of their brain. And a lot of conscious people tend to stink with the right side of their brain. So I would actually tag a video with this video on how to balance that. That that could actually be um, um, a solar plexus um, chakra imbalance is when we're is when we are trying to pick and choose um, our favorite side of their brain, our brain, and we only want to think that way, and we don't want to see the other the other way, which is causes us to fight against each other. So we can't keep having the woke and conscious group fight against each other because that's what the elite want us to do. That's what the colonizers want us to do. They want us to fight against each other because as long as we're against each other, we're not with each other and we're fighting each other instead of them. So we got to work on that kind of stuff. Um, this, this whole toxic, this whole toxic positivity and, and talk and toxic, um, trolling from woke people is is not healthy for us and ain't helping us we're, we're aiming our, our energy at the at the wrong people right now we got to learn how to how to point that crap at the right place we got to learn how to point out the enemies are uh, the enemies are at the top the ones that you don't even see on tv honestly those are the real enemies right there the enemies that are trying to get in the way of your higher higher purpose the enemies that are trying to wake the world up along with you in their way then 
they're not your enemy. So, so we got to stop doing that. We got to stop fighting each other because that's what they want us to do. We got to, we got to get over that. We got to find a balance and understand that we have two sides of the brain. We have a, we have the right side of the brain, which is a lot of intuition and consciousness. And then we also have the left brain where it's a lot of our an intellect come from, comes from and the, and the concept of understanding history and mind, mankind and all that technical kind of stuff. So, um, some, something that I'm aware of is a lot of us don't want to stay in our, our own lane. A lot of people want to claim to be conscious and then talk crap about woke people. A lot of people want to be woke, but then talk crap about conscious people. But it's like, if you're not educated on anything that woke people are educated on, then, then we have no place to talk about it. If you're not educated on anything that conscious people talk, talk about, then you have no place to talk about. We got to stay in our own lane. We got to understand where we're at. We got to learn how to balance our two hemispheres in our brain, our right one and our left one. So we can not only be balanced people, we can have balanced lives. And we could spread that balanced life to other people so we could be a balanced community and a balanced society instead of all, you know, swinging over this way or swinging over that way. Then that brings me back to the concept of the illusion of duality. So the illusion of duality is basically an illusion that the media and the elites play on us on the TV and all over the media. So they could basically have a swing with this way and swing that way. As long as we're in balance, we are not balanced. And we don't want to do that. So we got to stop you know, swinging all over the place, either being toxically positive or being toxically narcissistic and, and, and woke or, or whatever and picking fights with people because they don't know the history that you know and stuff. This, this isn't healthy. It's not good for us. We're not winning that way. So I know the end of this video might have got a little bit negative, but I just wanted to be really open about that because I'm, I, I, I mean, I come across a whole lot of people who, 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 um, tend to subconsciously support division in the conscious and, and woke community. So I hope this video helps us be a little more mindful of our actions, whether we're woke or conscious or both or neither. So we could come together as uh, people and um, really fight for what's right, you know, and, l and learn how to both use, use all of our brain and just, and just not and just not part of it. So for all you woke people, I hope you start meditating. I have a lot of meditation videos out uh, um, out here on my on my YouTube channel, and I hope all you conscious people do a little more history homework. Let's let's be together. Let's get along. You know. So I hope everybody is having a conscious and woke day. I am so woke and so conscious that I do aura readings and I can see auras. So if you would like an aura reading, go ahead and shoot me a comment or I am me. I do video. I do it over video chat on my Facebook page at Mind of Row because for some reason the business page on Facebook, they don't let you do um, video chat on the message on there. I don't know why. It's weird. So you're going to have to go find me on my personal page on Facebook to uh, do a video chat. Or you can send me an image, but if you want a better outcome, it's, it's better if you just, just do a video chat. We could we do an aura reading, and I'll basically let you know your imbalances and balances and all that kind of stuff. So that being said, I hope everybody's having a conscious and woke day. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, at Mind of Row, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I have more woke and conscious subjects to share with you. Peace. Namaste, Adabo.